Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a vlog. I don't know how many days it's going to run over, what day I'm going to actually upload, but first and foremost, I need to say welcome to anyone that's new to my channel that has subscribed and come over from Mrs. Caroline's channel. Thank you for coming over. Thank you for taking the time out of your day just to explore a new channel. Um, I am a very small channel. I'm slowly growing. I am British. I live in Las Vegas. And um, I do a collaboration every Sunday with the Transatlantic Housewives. And it, we pick a different topic every Sunday. And we upload at 7.30 a.m. British Standard Time. I've lived in Las Vegas, oh my gosh, 26 years. I'm originally from Swindon, but I did move from the Cotswolds to Las Vegas. I do have a video that's titled, Get to Know Me. I'll link that at the end of this video, but I have several different playlists that you can explore on my channel. And I'd love for you to see some of the past videos that I've done. I've got lots and lots planned for this rest of this year and next year, so stay tuned. I do love to thrift, I love to do makeovers, home makeovers. I've kind of fell off the wagon of doing that just because I wanted to save some money, but I'm gonna get back into it. So right now we're off to a thrift store, my favorite thrift store, I'm gonna take you along with me. And I wanna see if there's any autumn things, maybe home decor or clothes. So well, let's go there now. Now, before we go into the thrift store, I'd like to share with you some socks that have been sent to me. Now, I think these are worth checking out if you are anyone that loves to be working outside, if you're a construction worker, and if you're like me, I work in a very hot department where I have to wear steel toe cap boots, my feet overheat, and these are supposed to keep your feet very cool. Maybe if you work outdoors like a police officer or a fireman, or if you simply just live in a hot environment like Las Vegas. These high performance athletic socks have optimum comfort for your running and workout. Moisture wicking, all over conditioning, revolutionary fit and soft and breathable. In this box, you will receive three pairs. They do come in different colors and I've ordered gray. Just remember not to iron, dry clean or tumble dry. Okay, we're here at the thrift store and as you can see, it is huge. It goes all the way down. There's my finger, it goes all the way down here. So it's a huge building, way bigger than charity shops way bigger than any British charity shop that I've ever been in. However, charity shops in England have one thing better than we do, and that's antiques. You won't find too many in Vegas thrift stores. You're really lucky um, if you found one. There's two of these, these are interesting. You will always find golf clubs and you will always find snow sporting items in a Las Vegas thrift store. This is nice, this is eight dollars. Maybe I should buy this, Busy B. Marie. These are quite nice. These are $3 each. All different shapes and sizes. I had a feeling that I had to come to the thrift store today. And let me tell you, I have finally found something that has been on my wish list for, my thrift shop wish list for, I wanna say a good year. Yeah, um, and that is a navy blue blazer. I'm so happy. And I also picked up a really, really nice marble candle holder. It's very, very heavy. I paid $2 for it. I'll show you when I get home, okay, guys? Wow, I'm so happy. Now, last year I was looking through the blazers like every single week and I found a really nice autumnal blazer that I still need to go ahead and put into the dry cleaners so I'm gonna put both of them in this week and uh, get ready for autumn. I was headed home but I've decided to stop by Dutch Brothers. Do you have those in England yet? They're kind of like a Starbucky type thing but I don't think it's such a sit down joint like Starbucks. It's more of a drive up and the lines are always busy. Doesn't matter what time of day you drive past one, the lines are out the yin yang, but their coffees are, I think, better than Starbucks. Did I just say that? I did, didn't I? 
Anyway, after here, I think I'm going to drive and go pick up something to eat. And then we're going to visit Hobby Lobby because I want to pick up a few bits and pieces or at least see if they have some things. I want to put a vision board together. And I've got a vision in my head for my vision board, but I just need to see if they've got some bits and pieces that I'm after. Now, any of you that might be new to my channel, I do want to let you know that on a Monday, I put out a video called Monday Motivation. Or do I call it my Motivation Monday? I can't remember now. <laughs> but it's all about health and losing weight and my journey. I'm currently fasting. And I'll tell you right now, it's two minutes to one in the afternoon and I still haven't eaten so I am on a losing weight journey and so I put out a video every Monday and it's really for me to help myself keep myself um, accountable but along the way I put out different topics every week and if you like to watch those I put them out I think it's 10 a.m. Monday Vegas time so about 6 p.m. on a Monday for UK. So I'd love for you to join in and watch and uh, get inspired and motivated. Right, it's my turn to place my order now. What shall I get? I just wanted to show you these purple flowers. From a distance, it looks like lavender, but it's not. But they are the most gorgeous, gorgeous bushes that you will find in Vegas. They're so purple. And look how pretty it is in front of that light green tree. Okay, let's zoom in and see what they got here. Right, hyperchrome energy drinks. We've got Palm Beach teas, cold brew, Dutch classics, golden eagle freeze, Kokomo, annihilator, double torture, caramelizer, muffin tops. Well, I think I'm going to end up with a muffin top if I order any of these. Cotton candy frost. That sounds like it's laden in sugar. I just said I was trying to lose weight. What are you, what's wrong with you, Marie? God, Lord, I think I probably <laughs> will go with the Annihilator Chocolate Macadamia Nut Rev. Hmm, or Coconut Mocha. <gasps> oh, that sounds good too. I'm gonna go with the Kokomo. Got my drink. It's really an odd flavor. It's not what I expected. It's like coffee and chocolate and coconut but it's so smooth their, their drinks their coffees are a lot smoother than starbucks starbucks tends to be a bit bitter i think anyway anyway i'm outside this chicken place it's a mexican joint it's called a actually i can't even pronounce it properly it's a pollo loco and I'm, I'm not saying it right and I know I'm not saying it right because I've got a story. I may have told it before. If I have, just fast forward through this. But years ago, I worked in an office and the boss's wife said to me, here's my credit card. Will you go pick up lunch for everyone? We're gonna treat the whole office. I was like, yep, no problem. So she told me where to go. And she said, it's called a Pollo Loco. It's not loco, it's not It's not pronounced loco. Anywho, um, so I go and I call her up and I said, oh, you know what, um, Peggy, the, it must have moved, it must have shut down or closed. She said, no, she said, I was there last week, it wouldn't have closed that quickly. I said, well, it's not here now. She said, are you sure you're in the right place? I said, yep. I said, I'm on the corner of Flamingo and Decatur. She said, well, are you on the right corner? I said, yeah, I'm on the north west corner and I'm I'm parked and I'm looking dead at Pier 1 Imports and next to it is a place called Polo Loco and at that point she burst into laughter and I thought what's she laughing at? She said Marie it's not Polo Loco it's pronounced a Pollo Loco or whatever <laughs> so I know I've never pronounced it the whole time I've lived here but it does the best chicken I've ever had. I'm currently waiting in line. There is a long line, one, two, three, four. I'm number five in line, so I'm gonna be here a while. Oh, this guy's giving up, he's reversing. Let me see if I can reverse out. There we go, I don't blame him. He's probably been here quite some time. He's probably gonna go inside. I'm going to risk it and get in line still oh that kind should have stuck around the lines now moving it's always the way i always get into the wrong um line at the checkout at the supermarket too i wonder if 
you guys in England have this place now. I know you have Subway and Taco Bell and Krispy Kremes. There really isn't any reason for my husband not to agree to move to England now, is there? <laughs> Um, sorry, what was the options? Leg and thigh or breast and wing? Uh, can I do leg and thigh? You choose more side orders, they're all listed on the top right hand corner of the menu. And can I do the mashed potato and coleslaw? Mashed potato, coleslaw, and corner flour tortilla. Um, flour. Flour. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. We'll see you at the window. Thank you. See? Uh, no. Thank you so much. You too. All right. I'm going to go find a little parking space in the parking lot and eat some lunch. Okay. So we got a leg and a thigh. That's the world's smallest leg I've ever seen in my life, but hey ho. Um, some mashed potato, coleslaw, and then they give you their guacamole and their salsa. I've got two of each, so plenty there. But this chicken, I can't tell you the flavor of this is so good. Okay, I'm outside Hobby Lobby now and I'm resting my drink on my seat because it's in the shade. I can't keep it in the cup holder because the sun's blazing down on it. So I can't be, can't be long in there, otherwise my ice is gonna melt and my drink's gonna warm up. So let's see if I don't return and say two hours later. <laughs> we're gonna be quick, this, we're gonna make this quick. There you go, little lonesome. Wait there for me. I'm back. Oh, and I still have ice. I actually wasn't that long in there. They don't have anything that I was looking for. And this is what I get for being so flipping picky. So I think what I'm gonna do is go to the dollar store. And then failing that, I will take the time to rummage through some of the stuff that I've got in my own closet. It's probably what I should have done in the first place. Hi guys, it's the next day, right? So. I left you where I was driving to the dollar store, but halfway there, I just realized, you know, it's just too hot, I can't do this. So I ended up coming home and uh, not doing too much for the rest of the day, to be quite honest with you. But it's now uh, the next day, and I wanna show you what I got from the thrift store. I can't believe this was only $2. It is a candle holder. It's got a little bit of grubbiness that I need to wash off and there's some mounted wax in there that I need to dig out. This is a solid, solid piece and two dollars and it's not damaged at all. And I've got a bathroom, the spare bathroom that has a lot of marble in it. So I think that would look really nice in there, but two dollars, I just could not believe it. I could probably even have it this way around and have a thicker candle and then this way around for a thinner candle. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. And then, as I mentioned, I got myself a blue blazer. I do need to take this to the cleaners and the brand is Cast Fifth. I have no idea what that is. Size 10, but look at this. It's a little, little long on the arms, but most of my clothes are anyway. But yes, I'm very, very happy with this. So I'm gonna take this and my other blazer that I've got last year, um, that's very autumnal looking. I'm gonna take those to the cleaners today. Then I popped the other day to Michael's, the craft store, to pick up some bits and bobs for a vision board that I'm putting together. And quite a while ago, I had seen this vase in there and I wasn't willing to pay the full price, but they had a little 80% off shelf and there was the vase it was only one the original price was the original price was 25 dollars i don't think that's worth 25 dollars even though it is really nice i ended up paying five dollars for it so i think the wood piece like you can take it off i'm not a hundred percent sure it's all taped down maybe let's have a look so yeah you can take this piece off so I guess actually you could put candy or something in it if you wanted to, although it does have this hole. But I thought that would make a really nice little vase. I wanna bring in some green colors and some paler wood into my living room. Uh, give it more of a, a, Scandi, a Scandi look. Right, I've got my two jackets here. This is the one, the autumnal one. Isn't that nice? It's really thick, 
yeah happy about those two finds right i'm off to the cleaners now i got a little white thrifted shirt i should have shown you when i was stood up but i got this from the thrift store for four dollars and i've got myself a little protein shake that i've just made this is my favorite cup i love this it's got like a little bamboo lid and it's plastic you can put it in the dishwasher you can have hot cold drinks but this is from target a while ago target is my favorite place to get uh, travel cups they're so pretty in there but my first drink of the day actually it's not i had a coffee this is my first like meal drink um it's 10 past 10 in the morning so that's a little bit earlier than usual for me but I'm going to be popping out, so I don't want to get too hungry. Right, stop waffling. Go to the cleaners, Murray. So I'm just outside the cleaners, and they've got this poster outside. Um, I didn't realise they offered this service. Free pickup and delivery. That's good to know. I'm at Dollar Tree now. Let's go in and see what they've got. I'm at a different Dollar Tree. Not my local one, just to see if they've got different products. Dollar twenty-five, and it has peptides, vitamins, and green tea extract. And then I'm looking at this gold exfoliating facial scrub, dollar twenty-five cleansing cloths, Ooh, tea tree and sale. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Salicylic acid balancing face wash, face wash. Mm. Vitamin C, double strength retinol night repair serum. Ooh, ooh, peel off black mask. That is exactly what I would not use oil and pore control facial cleanser i do like this dove hand cream that one's one of my favorites now that's a sheet mask i i like using those types I stopped by Panera Bread and I've ordered a papaya green tea and I just tasted it. It's so flipping good. It's quite sweet, but it's good. Mmm. Yummy. And then I came in here for a soup that I used to order and they don't do it anymore. So then I ordered the four cheese souffle. But apparently that's only at breakfast. <laughs> so third time lucky, I've ordered, what did I order? Oh, a blue cheese melt sandwich, I believe. Yeah, be interested to see what this looks like. This looks good, but I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Look, look at my hand, it's huge. And it's really, really hot too. Okay, back in the car, that sandwich was so huge, I couldn't even eat half of it. So I've wrapped it up in my napkins and I've put it in my bag. <laughs> I thought I'd eat it for dinner. But um, I just wanted to show you this one place. If ever you're in Vegas and you love Greek food and you don't mind driving out into the locals area if you've got a rental car, I highly recommend this place. Let me show you. The Market Grill Cafe. I have vlogged from there before. This is a different location though. This is Lake Mead and 15. The one that I go to is way north of Las Vegas. But I just noticed this little place next to it. It's called the Cup Bop. Korean barbecue in a cup. Oh, I bet my grandson would like that. But yes, that Greek place is a family run restaurant and it's the food is so good. So yeah, I highly recommend that. I've done a sidetrack. I'm now at the world market. Let me see if I can find some British biscuits here. But I'm looking at these paintings right now. It's a really nice one. It's kind of cool. Ooh. That one's nice, I like the colors in that one. I really like this and then I touched it and I can't tell you, it has the weirdest texture. It's like um, a rubbery paper, $12. 
That is nice though. I do like this little sofa. It's nice and compact. Doesn't take up much room. Um, $6.99. I like that colour, but I also like this colour back here too. That's a nice little one too. That's nice and compact. Kind of need something that pulls out into a bed though. That's the first time I've ever seen this. Oh my gosh, I bet that's good. Say it isn't so. Oh my goodness. Oh, Twix as well. Milky Way. What is going on here? I've never seen any of these. What is this? Good Lord. Galaxy cookie chunk. What's this one? Bounty. Oh my. Not today, folks. Peak mix. Brownie mix. Cadbury cookie mix. Sticky pudding. Oh my gosh. Fudge. I've never seen a golden honey cane honeycomb arrow before so i am gonna buy oh new that's why i haven't seen it before right i'm gonna get that oh they have the mounts as well 3.99 i think i'll get this one i just got finished at home goods i had to buy a birthday present for a friend now one of the things you don't think about when you live in las vegas when you first move to las vegas should i say is that you can't leave things in the car so i just left that one other store was at world market and i bought that chocolate bar and I went to go in the store and I thought, oh, I've got chocolate in the car, I can't leave that. So I had to put that in my handbag. I already had the half-eaten sandwich in my handbag, but I also had a candle and that could not fit my handbag. And I was like, oh, please, please don't melt because they do melt um, very quickly in um, a, a closed off car that's sitting in the sun. But uh, I just checked and it's okay. But yeah, you have to, when it's hot and you shop, you have to walk around with a larger bag because you just don't know what you have to keep inside your bag otherwise it's just going to simply mount i've actually been on my lunch hour and had an apple sitting in my console and i popped inside a store i literally was five minutes and when i came out my apple was cooked i had a baked apple i'm back from shopping i'm really hot i've been out for four and a half hours i left the house around 10 and it's now two well it's 237 2 238 yeah so I'm worn out, I can tell you. And I just checked that chocolate that I put in my handbag and it's still melted even though I took it in the store. So that's now in the fridge trying to harden back up. I also went to H&M and bought quite a bit from there. So I'm gonna do a haul for that, um, a haul try on probably. But I went to World Market and I bought four sprigs of this and they were on sale for $4.30 each. And I thought that was a really pretty colour. And I have a pot that I think this will work in. Then I also come across, oh, you saw me get the digestives, yeah. So I might have to make some cups of tea here shortly. But I did come across some candles and they had larger candles in a glass jar that was $16.99. They had the size that I bought for $8.99. They had some reed diffusers and then they had some room spray. And the scent is sage tea. And oh my goodness, this smells like a luxurious oh, spa. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a bit of me. And it's a cute little bottle too. And this was $7.99, the room spray. And this is the candle that I was praying that wasn't going to melt. This was $8.99. And again, sage tea. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. I'm just going to set it up there for now. I might actually pair that with my marble. No, I won't, because then that means it'll be in the spare but They do. I want to smell it in here. So from Dollar Tree, I bought a little note planner. It's just a little simple one, just to write rough notes in for the start of 2024. I know we're still three or four months away, but I do like to plan ahead. Um, but I thought this was a cute little one. I mean, $1.25, you can't beat that. And I like the fact that it has a note page on the same page as the calendar. I like that very much. I like that layout. So yeah, I also have a whiteboard in my study that I write my um, my filming itinerary, my editing itinerary, my days that I have to work. I, I write each month out and 
my dry erasers are starting to look a little bit faint so I bought two new ones from Dollar Tree I also buy my earbuds or what are they called cotton swabs I have a jar on my dressing table that I need to fill back up I also buy my packing tape from Dollar Tree I've also got we used to call it blue tack they call it poster tack here but when I hang pictures in certain areas of the house if the dogs jump up and get excited um, mainly by the laundry room area the pictures end up going wonky so I've got a picture that I want to do a makeover on I want to hang it next to the laundry room and then I'm gonna put some blue tack on each corner behind and keep it in place because every time the dogs jump up at me when I greet them in the morning that picture goes wonky so this is a good little handy dandy thing to have for your pictures and then I got this little poster board this is part of a little project that I'm working on and that's my haul for today I spent quite a bit of money quite a lot of time um, and now I think I've still got some of my what was what was that drink I got from was it papaya that was so good papaya tea if you ever see that I would buy it and make some iced papaya tea and maybe sweeten it with honey but uh, yeah I am tired I'm gonna end this vlog here I'll see you on Sunday now if there's anything about Las Vegas that you want me to go visit see research let me know in the comment box and I will do my best I still have someone did ask for me to do a full tour of the fashion show so I do that I do have that on my itinerary that's gonna have to be a weekend I believe because that's the only days that they actually do the fashion show and I want to film that for you guys that's part of the fun of going and shopping there so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog and thank you again to all my new subscribers and thank you Mrs Caroline for the shout out um, and I'll see you on Sunday at 7.30 where we're going to be sharing our morning and evening skincare routine. And don't forget guys, check out these socks in my description box below. Okay.